G'day, welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing the very start of the Moreton Bay Cycleway. This is where the trailhead begins. And what you need to understand is Moreton Bay Cycleway, it's a collection of um, bikeways and streets and roads that take you all up the Moreton Bay coastline. I'm right here at Redland Bay. This is where it all begins. And the cycleway actually goes all the way up to Bribie Island. That's 150 kilometers in total. Now I'm not doing 150 k's today. Might do about 50 k's, um, then turn back, come back and do another chunk another time. So this is just gonna give you an indication of what it's like to ride up the coastline. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the views that I'm gonna be showing you. Really, really beautiful part of Southeast Queensland. Let's do it. If you're going cycling, actually set yourself up a little bit. Chances are you may need a uh, emergency tube. If one of your tires goes flat, strap onto your bike, obviously get water, uh, and also take a portable pump with you. All right, that's like a minimum. I always carry like a bit of a bike repair kit just around my waist. And I've got a first aid kit as well just in my backpack or you can carry in a waste bag you never know what's going to happen so it's good to just have a few things just in the event of a emergency okay so in my video today i'm going to be covering the journey of about 37 kilometers all the way from the lower part of redland bay and i'm going to be finishing at the old cleveland lighthouse right at the peak or the point at cleveland now i'll just zoom in a little bit more so I said it's a lower end of Redland Bay. It's actually called Point Tauberin Dog Park. And I parked my car right here, and this is where it starts. This is the trailhead. So this blue line indicates exactly where I rode my bike. Now I realized that I could have gone here, but at the time I didn't know that, so I actually traveled up a street and you'll see that in the video. However, I found my way back and we're going to be having a look up at um, this part of Redland Bay. There's a, uh, a big marina right here and this really, really cool uh, long rocky ocean break right there, or wave break. I backtrack around, go around here, check out the cops eating their maccas and surfing their jet skis. Uh, the water police lives around here and the coast guard. Lots of people here waiting for their ferries and you gotta understand, um, Loads of islands over here, you know, you've got Russell Island, Panican Island, Garden Island, Lamb Island, Maclay Island. Um, so, yeah, that's the ferry right there. Then we're going to go all the way up here to the fancy Redland Bay Golf Club. Um, at the time, I didn't realize you can just go right through, but you can. Uh, but I backtracked and sort of went around. We then go up the main road and we're going to go all the way over to this section is Victoria Point and we get a great view of Coochie Mudlow. That's a brilliant place over there. We ride all the way up the Esplanade here, all the way around past Point Halloran Conservation Area. And this is so nice just to check out, you know, up on bike. It's really, really cool. Uh, then we make our way up through Thornlands here around the sporting complex. This is a little bit up on the road. Not much you can do about it and we work our way slowly but surely up in the direction of Cleveland, but that's a little bit further up there. And I'm checking out on bike all of these foreshore areas. Really, really beautiful. Just loved it, absolutely loved it. This thing called Eddie Santi Guliana Way, just, just beautiful. Uh, then we finally are coming to Cleveland. We come to this point called Oyster Point Park. And once we're there, we're very close to the main city of Cleveland. And um, I check out their ferry terminal service over there. And then head up the main drag. And Raby Bay is just over here. And we finally come to the old Cleveland Lighthouse. Really, really beautiful. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let's get into it. Time is 7.32 in the morning. Let's uh, start our tracker. This is it, the very beginning of the Moreton Bay Cycleway. Now here's the initial footpath. It's right next to a dog park here off on my right. And in the background you can see Stradbroke Island. Should be pretty good, pretty excited.
Wilson Park. Look at this bird. Alright, here we go. There's a bunch of roads and shared footpaths to follow all the way up Morton Bay, up the uh, coastline. I'm just riding amongst some of the back streets early on in the trail to um, just to get to the Esplanade again. Ride amongst some very rich houses, that's for sure. Jeez, look at that, it's like a resort. All right, and here we go. Coming back to a path. That's kind of going back there. But we are back up on an Esplanade right now. See the waterways there. So thankful today's overcast. Man, yesterday was a killer, 37 degrees. Here's a really beautiful part of Redland Bay, Rustler's Reserve. Yeah, we've often come here and just had like a breakfast or a really late dinner, just looking out at the waterway. It's just a really nice rocky uh, section to walk out to. Look at that. And just looking beyond this Stradbroke Island. Now we're just going to get on around to the Redland Bay uh, Marina just over here. Got the Coast Guard there having breakfast. They've just got their Maccas. Got a pretty cool cafe here right on the water. Pelican Cafe. You see the cops have their boat just over there. That's the police. That's the water police. How'd you like to be a water police officer? Jet skiing every day, being on the boat every day, being shirtless, having Maccas half price every day. It's a great life, mate. That's about as close as I am ever gonna be to becoming a police officer. Anyways, let's keep going, shall we? Before they arrest me. This is where the Coast Guard is. We'll just have a little quick uh, sticky beak, shall we? Keep going up the Esplanade, just up over here. Hey, there's some big memorial. Redland Bay Roll of Honour, hey? 1914 to 1919. Lest we forget. Now over to my right is the barge. So you want to come over to the islands in your car? Well, this is where you do it. Check it out. You pay your money, a big boat comes, and you drive on. You wanna come back? You pay some more money. So like I said, there's no big massive bikeway, okay? They're shared paths for pedestrians and cyclists. Uh, thank God, sometimes they're a little bit wider here and there. Oh, jeez. You know what I'm thinking. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, 
Okay. That's the big kick in me. That was fun as. Fun as. Just beyond those stairs, this is an absolutely beautiful section to ride. Oh, jeez. So they call this whole section the Jack Gordon Pathway. Oh, yeah. Hey, my bike tires are gonna get wet. What the heck? Whoa. This seems to be like a memorial wall of dogs. This one's called Scout. This one's Floyd, Angel. Okay, at least every now and then you've got some water. Coming to some golf course here. Okay. Okay, golf course is off to my right. Watch out, duckies. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't know if this is a bikeway. I might have to turn around. Yeah, okay, when you come to that golf course, unfortunately, there's no way through it. You have to sort of backtrack a little bit, come to this major road, Boundary Road, I think it's called. Get across this creek. It's actually pretty beautiful. Check it out. Bike versus car. Yeah. It pays to bike around sometimes. So it's a bit crappy. There's no bikeway here. Just gonna ride on the opposite flow of traffic. <laughs> oh jeez. Let's go up here. have to be honest, I don't really know where I'm going at the moment. I see a footpath up here. Yeah, okay. Now I'm at the corner of Fairway and Anita Street. Strictly no vehicular access. Well, good thing I'm not a vehicular. This must come onto the back end of the golf course. Oh jeez, you know where I am. This is the golf course and I was just riding down there. So you can ride all the way through by bike where those duckies were and keep coming through here rather than backtracking around on those roads. Oh, well, now you know, now I know. Here we go doing some major pipe work to my right. Some big new drainage tunnels, I think. One day for me to explore. I'm heading down to Victoria Point now. Here we come to Vicky Point. And you got the uh, very famous fish and chips shop here. Used to come here as a kid. And this is where Coochie Mudlow Island, the departure point is from. So there's a barge over here. Jump on your car, head over to Coochie. These guys are coming off, I think. Ferry terminal. So that's Coochie Mudlow Island just over there. Really nice place to visit if you ever get a chance. You have to go there by ferry or you can uh, try swimming across. <laughs> a couple of sharks here sometimes are reported to be seen. 
And one major thing is don't anchor right there. There's lots of picnic tables you can see just behind me. Another public boat ramp right there. All right, we now head to Wilson Esplanade and this is it right here. They call this the Victoria Point foreshore. Hey, this is a really pleasant area to ride the bike. I think I could retire here easily, yep. I just love it like you know you could live right here and then just come down here and just head on in for a swim how good would that be and i've just come to the first sign morton bay cycleway sign after only doing 20 kilometers <laughs> i see the first sign <laughs> see a couple of bicycle symbols up on the road indicating that this is the cycleway Okay, here we go. It continues just over here. Great. This is a nice deck, that's for sure. Going through the wetlands, not getting wet. This is beautiful, actually. Wow, they've done a great job. All right, inner section. platform all right 100 meters only let's check it out all right we've now come to the redland city marina you got a boat this is a place you come to keep it money on water that's all it is money on water now one thing i have to say is the signage is pretty lacking um, like i've only seen like about three or four signs that say mbc for morton bay cycleway um, then you kind of lose it oh here we go just come across it now that was kind of like a lucky guess really it's kind of like there's a whole bunch of routes cycleways roads footpaths all hodgepodge put together and they call it the MBC. Um, the problem is it's not beautifully connected so that it's flowing. So at the end of the day, you're going to ride this cycleway. Sometimes you'll be on um, the clear MBC where there's clear signage. Other times you kind of just got to follow your navigational gut stick close to where you think the bay is and the waterway and the esplanade and follow that in any event you know whether you're road riding you're on the cycleway or you just kind of get lost a little bit it's all good fun like you're getting to explore all new cycleways and it's great like it's good fun along most of the footpaths there's so much water there's so much picnic areas rest areas shelters there's toilets so it really is you know you're, you're not remote or anything like that if something happens you're very close to help actually just found a mango it's been bitten out a little bit but i reckon this will still be all right hang on there's more So I might take a few of these, have this for lunch. A couple of mangoes right there, jeez. I think five should be enough for lunch. Jeez, there's so many mangoes up here. I hope one doesn't fall on my head. Five mangoes. That was really fruitful coming down this way. I'm riding right now at the back of Thornlands. 
and heading up to Cleveland. Oyster Point Park, 985 meters down the road. Here it is. Yay, the cycleway continues here. Here we are amongst the marshlands with the king of marsh and the queens, the ibises. <laughs> oh, sorry, buggy, did I upset you? Where am I? Somewhere at Cleveland. Hey, there's Australia Post up there. You ever seen one of those? That is Australia Post. So this is the ferry terminal at Cleveland. I've been here once before when I was like a little kid. Hello, Mr. Ibis. I'm coming for you. So we're now um, coming to Cleveland and we're riding on down to the point and I think there's the lighthouse restaurant um, we'll see I don't know it's this old building let's just have a closer look hall for hire hey There's something here called the old courthouse. So maybe back in the year, maybe something like 700 years ago, this was a courthouse. The name is a giveaway, with this building once being the local courthouse, originally built in 1853. As living quarters for local workers at a nearby sawmill, it later served as a police station and a local lockup. The building was converted into a cafe in 1960s to serve ferry passengers at the Paxton Street Jetty, now demolished. It was extended to a restaurant in 1977. The building retains its old world features with rumors even of a resident ghost.
Okay, so I'm going to call it at this point. This is Cleveland Point, and I've done a total of 36.74 kilometres. It's taken just over, a smidge over two hours to get to this point. Uh, the real time at the moment is 10.12. So yeah, this is the first section from Redland Bay up to Cleveland. Like I said, I'll make my turnaround point and head back and we'll do the next chunk on another video. Let's get into some mangoes and have a coffee while we're here. really really nice and I've got five of the things I'm gonna make a messy like crazy making a mess All right, let's get another one don't eat mangoes buddy it makes a mess. This one actually looks really good. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, that is gold. <laughs> 